So there are two hormones that are produced from the thyroid gland and uh, T4 and T3. And T3 is really where the rubber meets the road. That's the hormone that when we classically think of thyroid hormone, that's the one that goes and gets the job done. And T4 really acts more as a reservoir of future T3, where T4 is flowing through the blood. And then when the body needs more T3, the tissues, mostly it's the liver, will take in that T4, convert it to T3, and then release it as T3, which can then go and do what thyroid hormone does. And what thyroid hormone does is also very misunderstood. It is essentially a hormone that sets the, the throttle of the cellular engine. It kind of sets the idle of the engine or, or, or how busy the cell is. When thyroid hormone is up, cells are simply more active. They will be going through their cell life or the cell cycle just more rapidly than before. And this would include things as well known as say autophagy. Thyroid hormone wants to stimulate that kind of stuff. It just pushes the cells to be a little busier, which is why metabolic rate does go up when thyroid hormone is up. And that's why some, so many people are so fascinated by thyroid hormone because we're so collectively fascinated with metabolic rate. And then in contrast, of course, if thyroid hormone is down, then it's like we're just sort of depressing um, we're pressing the brakes a bit and we're slowing things down a bit. And so the cell slows down its actions. And there, and as you can, uh, as you consider then all the cells of the body, because all of the cells of the body respond to thyroid hormone, then we have that depressant depression in metabolic rate. Now I would refer anyone to a previous discussion that we had a previous metabolic classroom where we spoke about the effects of thyroid hormone on the fat cell specifically. And those are, I believe, very relevant effects insofar as thyroid hormone does influence the level of insulin receptors that you see on, on fat cells. And I think that is very relevant in any discussion of body weight regulation. Now, one other sort of physiological nuance when it comes to thyroid hormone. <clears throat> thyroid hormone is, um, under the control of another hormone that comes from the anterior pituitary tucked up into the brain. And that hormone is called thyroid stimulating hormone or TSH. So anyone who's gotten a blood test of thyroid hormone, you would have T3, T4, and very, very likely you would have TSH as well. Because TSH gives us an idea of how well the thyroid gland is working. And it does so through a, a process that, uh, that we call negative feedback. Very briefly, uh, if, if thyroid hormone production is low, so if the thyroid gland is producing less thyroid than the body needs, the brain would sense this and it would increase its release of TSH. And TSH's job is to stimulate more thyroid hormone production. And so that would push the thyroid gland to make more TSH. And uh, sorry, to make more thyroid hormone, the brain would sense this increase and then it would stop releasing TSH. So you can see that there's this kind of ebb and flow. There's this balance between these two hormones. DoctorsToTrust.com. Please share this video with loved ones.